Hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to learn about how to set up AKS cluster in Azure Cloud using Terraform. So if you look at my website, we have already created AKS cluster in different ways, right? So we created AKS cluster by logging into Azure portal directly. Uh, so that is the link over here. So you can log in into Azure portal and then you should be able to, uh, you know, create cluster, right? Uh, the second option is you can also create AKS cluster by using Azure CLI as well, right? So, so you can install Azure CLI on your local machine and then you should be able to uh, create cluster, right? So that is the second option. What we are going to learn in this video is we are going to set up AKS cluster using Terraform. That's exactly what we are going to do. But before we get started, let's quickly go through what is AKS, right? I'm pretty sure we all know that. So AKS is a fully managed uh, container orchestration service provided by Azure. So if you are building container-based application, you would be able to deploy your containers directly into AKS cluster without even worrying about how to manage them. Why? Because it is completely managed by the AKS control plane itself. All we have to do is just set up the worker nodes. Okay. So that's exactly what we are going to do in this video. Awesome. So let's get started. So if you look at the pre-request, yes, we need to have Terraform installed on your machine. And then we also need to have account setup. When it's account setups, nothing but Microsoft account. And uh, we also need to have a kubectl because once we set up AKS cluster, we are going to access the cluster by using this uh, kubectl. And then of course, we also need to have Azure CLI as well, right? Because using this, we are going to authenticate with Azure Cloud, okay? So if you look at this diagram, this is exactly what we are going to do or how we are going to do, right? So on this machine, uh, we are going to have Azure CLI and then Terraform CLI and then kubectl, right? Uh, so once we have installed all these three, we are going to uh, authenticate with Azure Cloud using Azure CLI, right? Of course, there are many ways you can authenticate with Azure Cloud, but this video talks about using Azure CLI only, okay? So once you authenticate into uh, Microsoft Azure account using Azure CLI. We are going to write Terraform scripts, okay? So using the Terraform scripts, we are going to create a resource group. And then we are also going to uh, go ahead and then create AKS cluster as well as ACR, right? And then we are also going to create a role assignment so that, uh, you know, the AKS cluster would be able to download the image from ACR, right? Because once we set up the cluster, eventually we are going to uh, build a pipeline in order to deploy container-based applications into AKS cluster, which we will talk about in the next video, okay? So this video just talks about setting up the AKS cluster itself, okay? And then once the cluster is set up, we are going to access the cluster, right? The worker nodes and all uh, by using kubectl command, right? So using kubectl command, yes, you can also uh, see the deployments or, or you can also see the services, right? So you can access cluster uh, right, uh, using kubectl command, okay? So that's exactly what we are going to do. Awesome, so let's get started. I'm going to open up my Visual Studio Code. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and then open up my terminal. Okay. And then I'm going to quickly create a directory where I'm going to keep all my Terraform file. So I want to create a directory called it say project Terraform and then go inside the project Terraform folder. Perfect, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start creating files in this directory, okay? So let me open up the directory. Perfect. First login into Azure uh, Cloud first, right? So let me do one thing. Let me go ahead and then say az login, okay? So this is going to take me to uh, Azure Cloud, right? So now I have logged in into Microsoft Azure. Perfect. So let's close that. So now what we are going to do, we are going to start writing code, okay? So if you look at the very first file, we need to create a providers.tf file, right? So let me copy this piece of code. So I'm going to go ahead and then create, uh, say new file here. Okay. So I'm going to say providers.tf. Okay. 
So that is the piece of code, right? So this is our provider, which is Azure RM. And then you have to define this block. This is really recommended. So what is the version for our provider, right? So we are going to use, you know, uh, 2.39.org. So that is the provider for our Azure RM, right? So perfect. So let me save this. Okay. And then the next file, what we are going to create is our variable start tf file. So in this variables of tf file, we are going to def define all the variables what we are actually going to use in our main.tf, right? So if you see here, yes, we want to declare resource group name, uh, location, cluster name, right? Version, system node count, and ACR name, right? So, so in this file, we are just defining what are the variables what we are going to use in our file, okay? Perfect. And then the next file, what I'm going to create is um, variables uh, terraform.tf var file, okay? So we are going to create terraform.tf var file. All right, so in the next file, what I'm going to create is terraform.tf var file. So this is the file which is going to contain the actual values for the variables which we have defined in the above file, right? So if you see here, yes, this is the you know resource group name and that is the location, right? So if you are from a different location, you can you know change it over here and that's the cluster name and that's the Kubernetes version. And then I want to create two worker node. If you want to create three worker node, you can go ahead and then mention three, that's fine. Okay, and then what is the ACR name, right? So this is the Azure Container Registry name. Perfect, right? So let's save this file. Okay, perfect. And then the next file, what we are going to create is the main.tf, right? So let's create main.tf. So in this file, we are going to declare all our resources, right? So the first thing what we have to do is, you know, we have to define the resource group, right? Because in Azure, the way it is going to work is, you know, uh, you need to create a resource group and then any resources you are creating in Azure Cloud, they all should be tied up to the resource group, okay? So this is the resource group block, what we have defined, right? So that is the name and that is the location which will be read from the uh, variables file. You see here, so that is the resource group name and that is the location, right? And then if you see here, uh, this is the block of code for creating the uh, the Kubernetes cluster, right? AKS cluster, okay? Uh, and then if you see here, yes, we are defining, uh, we are assigning the version name, location, what about the re resource group name, everything we are, we are you know, kind of assigning. And then uh, how our VM is going to look like, right? So we are going to have two worker nodes. Uh, what is the VM size? If you want to bump it up, you know, feel free to do that. So we, we are using virtual machine scale set. Uh, so these are the availability zones, right? Where they are all, all will be available, right? Okay, uh, so that's the network profile, okay? So everything we are just creating here, right? Regarding AKS cluster, okay? And then this block of code is for creating Azure Container Registry, right? So that is the you know, name of the Azure Container Registry where we are picking up from uh, variable file, right? That is going to be this one. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so what about the SKU? Yeah, I'm going to go with the standard one. That's that's absolutely fine. And then if you see here, yes, I'm disabling the admin, uh, you know, uh, password, right? So yeah, no one would be able to, uh, you know, get the admin password, which is definitely right, which is a recommended practice. You don't want to expose the admin password for your ACR, right? Okay. And then this block of code is for, uh, you know, creating the role assignment so that, you know, your EAKS cluster should be able to uh, download the, a Docker image, right? So from ACR, right? So so that is what this block of code, because eventually after we create the AKS cluster, uh, we are going to go ahead and then create a pipeline and then deploy container-based applications into AKS cluster, right? So we need to, you know, have this kind of a role assignment, you know, for our AKS cluster, okay? So that's pretty much over there, right? So that is on the main.tf file, okay? So let me go ahead and save it. And then last but not the least, we need to create this output.tf file. So basically, this file is for where we are actually you know, writing all the outputs, right? So let me go ahead and create this. 
so I'm going to copy these values okay so these are the values you know what we are going to write it right so like you know whatever is the what is a fully qualified name for our cluster what is the resource group name uh, id acr id right and then most importantly uh, the cube config file information right because we would need this in order to access uh, kubernetes cluster using kubectl command right so everything you know we are going to write in this particular file okay so perfect and then let me save this file so all looking good so now what we should be able to do we should be able to go ahead and then say terraform init okay perfect so that's our terraform init so it says it says that so it says that you know terraform has been successfully initialized so it's all good to go and then i'm going to go ahead and then say terraform plan okay so if you see here right so this clearly says that you know it is going to create five different resources right so if you are wondering what are those resources are so it is going to create uh, Azure Container Registry is going to create the cluster. Uh, it's going to create the the role assignment, right? Right, and then it is also going to create the resource group as well. And then it is also going to create this file, right? Cube config file where you know all the cube config information will be stored, right? So perfect. So we are actually good with this. So why don't we go ahead and then build the infrastructure, right? So I'm going to go ahead and then say Terraform apply awesome you see here so it is asking for my user input if i say yes it is going to create you can also avoid by you know executing terraform uh, auto approve as well but, but that is fine so let's go ahead and then say yes so now it is going to go ahead and then create the cluster so it may take some time depending on your network speed two to three minutes or even longer so I'm going to pause the video and then come back. All right, so our cluster has been created. And as you can see here, it has created all the five resources what we need, right? So these are the values what we are actually writing into the output file, right? So perfect. So why don't we do one thing? Why don't we log in into Azure portal and then see? So let me quickly log in into Azure portal. So I'm logging into Azure portal. So if you see here, so this is the resource group, right? So this is the resource group which we just created using Terraform. And then this is the uh, Kubernetes cluster, right? So that's our Kubernetes cluster. So if we go to the workloads, so, so these are our uh, default deployment right so the what are the things you know which is being deployed as part of the aks cluster setup if you go to the node pools you are going to see you know the two worker nodes right you see here so it has the two worker node right so these are the two worker nodes as part of our cluster right <clears throat> And then this is our ACR, right? So Azure Container Registry, this is where we are going to upload our Docker images. Okay, as you can see here, admin user is disabled, right? So we don't want to have that. So once we upload our Docker image, we are going to see them over here under repositories, right? So perfect, so all the resources has been created. So now what we are going to do is, you know, we want to just make sure that our cluster is, you know, like working and we are able to access the cluster using kubectl command, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to move the kube config file. So if you remember, right? So we have created this kube config file, correct? So what we are going to do, we are going to move the kube config file under over here, right? Under this folder, because so that, you know, you'll be able to access the cluster. And then we are going to perform this command. I wanted to see how many worker nodes are available. 
wow see here so these are the worker node right so we are able to access that and then if you want to see if there are any deployments right so currently we don't have any deployments okay so that's the reason why you know it is not showing anything you want to deploy something right let's say you want to deploy a nginx uh, application or anything like that so what you can do you can you know perform this command so this is going to do a deployment into aks cluster so now the deployment has been created so if you go ahead and then try to get the deployment wow see here so that's it right so our deployment is done so that is how you would deploy right so using that command and then if you want to uh, look at how many pods are available right after the deployment is done wow there you go you see here so this was able to create three different parts so those are the parts what we are actually seeing it here right and then last but not the least so let's say guys you know after you set up the cluster uh, you want to delete the cluster because you know if you don't delete the cluster you will be charged by azure cloud right so if you want to avoid all the charges you want to perform some cleanup activity you would be able to perform this command right so terraform destroy auto pro right so when you perform that command this is going to clean up everything what you have created right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you would create aks cluster in azure cloud using terraform Thank you for watching this video folks.